guns won't do it, General. You're not just about guns, Dr. Black. Why not shoot me dead? Right here, right now, and save a lot of trouble. You people hire only stunt drivers. We're interested in this thing you call the ancient enemy. Not the tabloid stuff. The hard science. You know, I assume, that history is filled with mysterious disappearances for which neither archaeologists nor anthropologists can provide adequate logical explanations. For instance? December 10th, 1939, in the hills outside Nanking, China, an army of 3,000 Chinese soldiers vanished without a trace long before they reached the battlefield. No bodies, no graves, no witnesses. Consider the Mayan cities of Copan, Piedras, Negras, Palenque back in 610 AD, deserted overnight, hundreds of thousands of Mayans missing. Conventional theories of disease or war don't explain why there were no mass graves, and there's ample evidence to show that Mayan families vanished after preparing elaborate dinners, but before eating them. And there's a disappearance of the English colony on Roanoke Island, North Carolina in 1590. Many others. Many. Just what is the state? Chaos. Chaos in the flesh. What you're looking at here is our field lab. It's bacteriologically secure. This thing is armored to withstand point-blank mortar fire. No terrorist can take this thing out. We're operating on the basis of very broken communication from Snowfield, an aerial recon. Both inconclusive. This is our scientific team. They're grouped to cover every possible contingency. Let me remind you that Dr. Flight's name was found in Snowfield. One of the victims scrawled it on a mirror. Now, it was a desperate, dying act, but the victim must have seen something to lend some credence to Dr. Flight's theory. breakfast and dinner here. I'm never gonna get out of here. Thanks. Hey, listen. I don't know what the hell this thing is, but it's playing with us. The lights, the noises on the phone, the moth with Warble. I don't know what it wants, but if we just keep our heads straight, we're gonna get out of here. I promise you. How can you be so sure? Chef Hammond, I understood deputies Woggle and Shannon were here. Yes, they were, uh, they were killed during the night. Then it is ongoing. The name on the mirror, how do you fit into this? Reluctantly. The first thing we need to know is what we're dealing with here. What kind of threat it is, biological, chemical, or other. Uh, well, I'm, I'm leaning toward other. <laughs> to have dinner when something happened. Recording? 
Residence of Dr. Jennifer Paley. Kitchen. Evidence of severe trauma, perhaps toxicological injury. In the 48 hours prior to these events, did your office receive any reports of power failures, telephone interruptions, strange lights in the sky? We haven't seen any flying saucers. That's it. Junction box about here. We'll tap into it, power up the lab. of the statue of Mary, all, almost like a, an offering. There's a large accumulation of metal buttons, wristwatches, jewelry. Everything metal. Not an offering. Undigested remains. And a little something preserved and put aside for later, like the spider might do it. Got something, Hugger. Looks like some kind of breach in the trunk lines. That would account for the interrupted phone service. Coming from. 